Okay, do a first impressions video on the Die i5. Got this from Paul Wizard today. Um, it was pretty hard not to open this up at work, but I wanted again to show my first impressions of it. I haven't seen these in person yet, or touched them, or anything like that. So let's, uh, let's go and open it up and check it out. Okay, got the i5s here. I went with the, is there a name for this? The Onyx Gold. Okay, so let's open her up. I'm really excited for this strap. I'm curious how that's going to feel. Okay. That's pretty cool. I have a little foam insert right there that kind of holds the mask in place. Neat little detail. Okay. So we got a warranty card. Oh, that's a really nice feeling bag. It's almost like a, like a polyester, I'd say. What does it say? Yeah, 100% polyester. That's a really nice quality bag. Okay, back to the side. Gonna grab a knife quick and cut off these tags. Got a little chin strap. Do you have to leave these on now? Pretty sure you do. I'm going to remove it. Makes it nice and easy to take in and out. You don't have to cut them out like some old masks. All right. So. Cool. All right. So, got the i5s here. I haven't even put these things on yet. But they're pretty cool. All right, so let's just pull out. Oh no, cool, it just turns. I was thinking I might have, I'm just gonna pull out and then, but it isn't, you just turn it. So, a couple clicks. Oh wow. That's really smooth. Let's take out this film in here. I'm trying to figure out how to Take off the lenses. Looks like it's a new. A new way of doing it. I'll have to read into that. I have no idea how to take out these lenses. See two little tabs in here. God, I hate reading the manual on things. But let's see what the manual says. How to remove the lenses. Removing the lenses. Okay. Alright. Just for that shot. Focus. Bastard. Alright. You gotta like pinch these two tabs. Looks like you pinch this little tab right here. You push that down. There's one right here. There's one on the bottom side too. I think you push those in and you push this forward. So let's try it. I'm reading the wrong. So, right, reading the right. Just press the top and bottom locking tab on the gray frame for tension clip and push the gray frame tension clip forward. Alright. So, what I'm going to do. It's not a good way to do this. Alright, so tension these. 
Make it a bit easier if you were just dead. You pull back a little bit on these, and then push them down. And the whole thing should slide forward. Oh, I think I'm more taking this. Look at them. All you have to do is make sure this front tab gets pushed under. This looks like... Push that front tab and then push this whole thing forward. Is that right? It is definitely easier if you make sure that this blue tab is pulled all the way back before you push down on this. So you like pull back on this as you push down on that, and the whole thing slides forward. So now what? Do these bend up? Yep. Okay. So it's not, that's not hard at all. Actually, I was just way overthinking it. So just like the old i4 lenses, which is neat, that means you don't have to, have to buy all new lenses. So it goes in the opposite way of what it came out. And then what, pull on the strap maybe? Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in the frame and keep forgetting them trying to film. So that pops in and then pull on pull on your strap. Let me get that again. Okay, so once again to get this in close that, snap it and pull right on. Watch this part right here. You want to make sure that clicks. Just like that. And there is one on the bottom side too. Right there. Just want to make sure that clicks also. Just like that. Alright. Let's get these guys back on. Whoa. Man, these are really comfortable. Oh yeah. Come here, M2. Ooh, that gets warm. Hopefully that's normal. Just picked up the M2 off the charger and uh, she's pretty warm. I wanna make sure this battery's not getting fried. That's cool. There's a little, I should put this in the M2 video. Just took off the grips and this must be a little component that allows it to charge wirelessly. So I just noticed that, that was pretty warm. Okay, anyway, back to the i5s. I call they have this little, if you can see it. There's little kind of foam pieces here. Looks like they're wrapped in kind of a microfiber. There you go. That's pretty cool. It's a comfortable feature. Look at this foam here. It's got kind of a uh, like a microfiber top layer. Super soft, squishy foam right here. Then a nice. I bet that'll catch the sweat pretty, pretty well. And all the way around. I think that's removable too. Yep, look at that. That's nice. If you ever want to replace the foam, looks like it's, it's easy to do. Okay. The vision, just like all i4s, awesome. You can see way out here and go from the side. You can pretty much see as far as you, almost as far as you can see, you know, just with your peripherals. I can see right here. Right there. It's really, it's got really good sight to it. I'm looking forward to taking off one of these side deals and putting on, does it come with it?
I'm assuming this is it. I don't know if that's it. I think this replaces that and allows you to put a GoPro or an action cam or whatever else you want to put on there. So cool. I like this color. I wasn't, that was my first pick, but I'm glad I got it. Not because it matches the gun, but I think it looks pretty cool. On the back here, so we got a little pad. There's me. There's some plastic underneath there. Yeah, it's on the back side of here. Is this removable? Doesn't look like it. It's a pretty sexual mask. I like it. It's a little bit bigger on the jawline. It just sucks it right up to you. So your jaw is, yeah, oh, that's really nice. Four, I'm pretty sure you can see my teeth. Wish I had some I4s to compare this to, but it's a nice mask. Pretty much flows with my jawline. I think Die knocked out of the park with this one. I'm glad they didn't put that little dialogue on the nose. It's just, it's just a quality mask. You can feel that the, the plastics and the rubbers and everything that they use is just, it's high quality. I've been using the Vios for the last, I don't know, two or three seasons and those are great masks too. I wonder... I wonder if they're going to come out with a visor for this thing. Check it out. See on top here? See that little hole? I have no idea what that could possibly be for. That hole, that hole right there. We got a hole right here. A hole on the other side. If I had a guess, I'm guessing they would come out with a visor for this thing, which would be pretty friggin' sexual because it's a pretty sexual mask. I don't have anything bad I can say about this thing. I mean, again, this is just first impressions, but... Mm -mm, I was skeptical at first at the size of this back piece, but no, it's really comfortable. I think I'll even this little die logo on top. It seems to be better quality. It's kind of a rubber one versus a plastic. All right. Cool. Can't wait to start using it. Well, I approve of the Dye i5. I think it's a really great mask. I think they're gonna sell a lot of these. It's pretty much everything that the i4, sh not that the i4 had something wrong with it, but it's any improvement they could have had on the i4, I think they made with the i5. Generally, that's how things work, but this uh, exceeded my expectations. I mean, the, the, that jaw foam right here is super nice detail. Hmm. Nice job, Dye. Thanks for watching, guys. God, I'll fake it. All right. <laughs>